Use this. How's my health right now? Full health, cool. Uh, been kind of bad on stuff. I think, I think drugs are nice, don't you? Ada, you're wasting my drugs. Ada, I have drugs I'm, I have taken right now that I need to get shot with, or else I don't get the I don't get the thrill I need. Cool, cool. Can I get in now? Thank you. Nice. Ooh. What? <laughs> Do you even know English? You may have infiltrated my sanctum and destroyed my robots, but your reign of terror ends here. Uh. Wait, my reign of terror? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's a glass door in the way, so you can't hit him. Alright, get you. Alright, so get ready for a gauntlet here, guys. Is gauntlet the best word? Ugh. <laughs> I can't counteract the recoil enough. Nope, I'm over here. You can't get me. Those are the rules. Sorry. Ah, oh, damn it, he got me. Okay, okay. Okay, you're dead. Motherfucker. Okay, we are definitely switching to... Yeah, shotgun, baby. Thank you, Ada. You've been a big help. Oh my god, that thing flew again. Fucking love that shit. Ada, where are you at? There you go. Thank god I probably have, like, more of these than I've ever needed in my life. Turret bot. Okay, this is new. Still looks like a jump box to me. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Oh, yep. That was gonna happen. Did... Oh, okay, that, that was a... That was, quote-unquote, a bullet flying by. I heard the view, and I, for some reason it sounded like a fucking monkey, and I was like, what? <laughs> Where am I at? No, oh, damn it, I'm here. All right. Yeah, definitely should have brought the thing, but hey, you know what? I think a little bit of uh, challenge is nice. At least we get to do the other dialogue options, but though I am saving after this one. Alright, let's see. Drugs are a must. Psycho baby. Bring it. Bring it. Love it. Every single time. Come on. Get your shit open. Uh oh, thank god. <laughs> I got worried there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Shut up already. And show me what you got. The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Now you'll face the full might of the mechanist. My righteous robots will end your tyranny once and for all. All I gotta say is they couldn't record a line for that first one. Like, really? Damn, everybody. Oh, fuck you. You don't need backup yet. Fuck off. You know, this probably wouldn't be too bad if I actually had my own fucking, like, companions here that I like. Since you have to take Ada, she's just kind of a piece of shit. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Alright. This thing, I need to fucking teach it a lesson real quick. It's gonna kick my ass. I'm not used to pressing my buttons. Oh my fucking god, Jesus. Alright, these guys aren't doing anything to me. I want to focus on this guy. Okay, good. Ah. Oh hey, that explosion actually helped take these guys' asses out. No, get your ass over here. Oh fuck, how are you healing? Self-destruct? Like... Of course I don't mean you, Sparks. <laughs> that's fine. A workbench? What? Alright, so now they're gonna explode in my face. Nice. Cool. That's fine. No, that's fine. Have to be all the time. But I think you failed to grasp the full reality of your situation. 
Oh fuck. Ada! Ada! <laughs> Can you please shut up? I'm uh, giving Ada stuff. <laughs> you know, I totally forgot. I, didn't Ada have like the carrying capacity of a fucking whale? <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Power generation capacity exceeded. Now drawing reserve power. Sparks! Uh, I'll deal with you myself. Call my robots. Destroy him! Myself? You, that, I don't think you know what that means. That usually means you deal with me. God, why was I stuck? I get that, like, maybe it, like, freezes you or some shit, Activate but, uh... Tesla coils. Tesla coils. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. Heading up here now. Oh my god. Holy shit. Well, that's not very... Wait, is he... Is that destroying his own robots? Because if so, that's fucking hilarious. Alright. Cool, cool. Hey, you're just a minor annoyance. Well, when you don't... Ex if you explode in my face, you're not a minor annoyance. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh my god, these. I don't remember these guys having this much of a fucking. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Nope, nope. I'm. Ah, damn it. Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember these guys, like, glitching out as much as they did now. God, I thought my outfit would be good. I mean, to be fair, it's got some pretty high defenses. It's like half as much, a little bit more than half as much as my power armor. Can't remember what point I'm at now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm at the start of that one. Cool. I think so. I'm surprised they're fucking me as much as they are just because of, uh... Hey, buddy, what's up? Well, because you think it wouldn't be too bad because of my, uh... I got two sets of drugs in me, you know? I got medics and psycho. That's pretty... It's pretty high. No, fuck off. I still love how this ends up actually killing the robots instead of helping. Fuck you. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch to... yeah, this baby. Nope, nope, nope. Switching, there we go, cool. Aw, oh, motherfucker. Nope, fuck you. That's a quick save and a stim pact. Motherfucker, I'm never gonna get sick of that thing flying across the room. Even the nukes we found in the back? Uh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Wait, what was that? Okay. Of course. Wait, wait. There's that. Nice. Fuck you. I don't know where he thinks the coils are a better idea to use against us than the fucking, uh... <laughs> than other shit. I feel like throwing mines from the sky isn't the best idea. Actually, fuck. Fuck if I know. Oh, yeah, Psycho ran off, yay. We just gotta make sure to stay alive. Oh, wait, they did fall from the sky. How the fuck did they stay upright? Okay. Can you see them, sir? Five. Oh. When he said throw everything at him, he, like, picked, like, the... He meant the worst robots, basically. <laughs>
just staying up here so I don't die. Not sure if this shuts down the robots, FYI. Sorry, buddy. Confused, it's obvious. We need to talk this out face to face. We're speaking now. Besides, do you truly think I'd leave the safety of my command center? Please. How can either of us know who's sincere without looking each other in the eye? You can't afford to take that risk. You're right. The truth must be known. Sparks with me. Alrighty then, time to talk to the Mechanist. We'll just wait here while I, uh, scavenge. I was not trying to hold the R button and, um, or E button, whatever it's called. So then, Mr. Mechanist, how are you? Ha <laughs> ha, nah, nah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you, we'll, we'll hear you out. Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You are what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let's see the nerd. Uh, not what I remember. Isabel. Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth against your robots. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. That can't be right. Explain yourself. <laughs> Sarcastic. Call it user error, then. One of your robo-brains admitted it. They're killing people to save them. I forgot if that. By... We heard that in the last session. Killing? No. It's the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. <laughs> their primary directive was flawed. Maybe that's why you don't stick human brains in robots. I want to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place. And figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done, or even atone for it. But you're pretty this quick on this. Have to end in violence. Mm. That's where you're wrong, mechanist. The only way this ends is with violence. Why did I have a feeling you'd say that? See what you have to- Oh, look at that shit! Fucking A, this is actually fun. Fucking A. <laughs> Where are you? Bye, Sparks. Wait, I'm gonna grab your shit specifically. Nope, nothing special, okay. Where am I being fired at? Yeah, but this is kind of the jerky playthrough. I can tell you nothing really special happens if you decide not to do this. Sorry, Miss Mechanist. Wait. Boom! Oh my god. Terrible. So here's the stuff. Mechanist Armor of the Robotics. Mechanist Armor reduces damage by 15%. Honestly, kind of like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> And the helmet. One charisma, one intelligence. So we got the master control password and all this good stuff. So yeah, she just kind of, if I remember correctly, like she apologizes or some shit, but I don't, I don't remember her like joining anything. Protectron's gaze, 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster recoil. Yeah, baby. But yep, that is, well, almost it. As you saw earlier, 
We got this baby down here. Oh, wait, what? Not this? Uh, maybe it's up here. Basically, this can turn into a nice little workshop. And honestly, this one seems a bit better if you want to do the manufactory kind of stuff. Manufactory, sorry. That you can do that I never do because fuck it. Oh, hey, look, they got the little brains in here. It's kind of cute. All right. So now that we got the password for this thing, I wonder if a master lock would be able to get into this. Uh, Epsilon 6 security alert has been declared. Critical power failure has been detected. Okay, cancel all security alerts. All right, map updated. You can now use the mechanist layers of workshop. Speak to Ada. Woohoo, okay. Hey, Ada, how do you feel about all this? Wait, wait. Come here. Hey. What can I do for you? Let's talk. Glad to be of service. Wait, no, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's talk. Hey. The Mechanist deserved to die. You don't pose a great threat to the Commonwealth and get to live. A just end for the pain and suffering inflicted. It does not bring back my friends. But if not for their deaths, the Mechanist may still be alive, posing a threat to the Commonwealth. Had those robots remained unchecked, I'm certain the damage would have been extensive, halting if not reversing any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction. Oh my god. <laughs> and I have you to thank for it. As a result, I have decided to stay here. There is one remaining matter to consider. The mechanist is defeated, but my radar beacon is still picking up several signals. I fear the Commonwealth is still littered with those rogue robots. Eliminating them would be tying up loose ends, to use a common phrase. Seriously? How many robots are out there? The signal suggests quite a few. Sure. Good. <laughs> Check now. I'm picking up multiple signals this time. Caution is advised. Rogue robots, yay. So, yep. And I think that's just like one of those infinite quests we can do if we want to go out and do shit. And here we go. Here is a nice little workstation that we can do. And I believe that's a, a quick exit for us. Ent entrance and exit for us. But anyway, yep, that is the mechanist stuff. Uh, like I said, this is probably a good place to do for, um, for like factory. No, I did not mean to do consequence. Go away, consequence. Console command, go away. But this is probably a good one. But if you do want to turn this into a regular settlement, keep in mind that you can like lay out fertilizer here to be able to grow stuff. So don't think that you have to make this a spot. Oh, hey, they got a free workbench. And I noticed there uh, what it said a second ago. Oh, look. <laughs> Looks like uh, shading's a little fucked up over here. I think that's from the explosion, actually. Could be wrong. But it said you unlocked all the robot mods by beating the Mechanist, or at least after we got done talking to Ada. So I guess if you're worried about not getting all the mods, there's a, an advantage for you. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this quest. As you could tell, this is kind of, I don't know, underwhelming in my opinion. I, like, I think it's interesting. I guess I didn't really ask a fucking... I totally forgot to ask the mechanist her story. I just don't want to lose out on the opportunity to kill her. <laughs> Trying to be evil and all. Fuck you, Ada. You stay here. But, um... Fuck, I might even send her here. This probably might be a nice place to send the robots and shit. But yeah, something about her taking up the mantle. I don't think she ended up getting the stuff from the last mechanist, but I don't know where she got it from. I don't know. I'll, I'll lay some shim text on screen right now to kind of give the, the down low on that just because I decided to be a dumbass. I gotta say, for not having power armor, I didn't really... Get, I, mean, I know it's because uh, Ada can fucking hold her fucking weight, but <laughs> I really didn't grab a lot of shit here. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head home. I think I'm gonna try to talk to one person because I think we probably got some st stuff to do with them or getting there. So I figure we'll do that today just to add some time because I'm sure... What am I? At an hour and a half, and I'm sure this is not an hour and a half with all the cutting I had to do. <laughs> but anyway, time to head home. Kind of sad there's nothing else to do. Is that the... Oh, those are the rogue robots. Uh, where's... Okay, Courser's down there. Okay. Yeah, I can... We, we can do the rogue robot. We'll quick just see... We'll quick. We'll quick just so you guys know what it's like. Anyway. 
just so you guys have an idea of, okay, how does the rogue ro robots type missions work? I'm guessing the robo brains. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, then we'll head back and I'll uh, talk to one of my companions. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh my god, what the hell, man? Oh, Rusty Devils, too. Nice. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I caught reloading. There you go, guys. Boom! Nice. Should probably start firing, too, honestly. Not much, I kind of just ran over here. Pretty sure Ada probably doesn't have much left. God, these guys carry so many fucking infusion cores. Yeah, just fucking join Ada on the team, guys. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna take some buff out for now. If I need to drop shit, I can drop shit. Like this hunting rifle. Here we go, cool. Alrighty then. So I wonder if the Rusty Devils are always near the uh, rogue robots, or if that's just a coincidence. There's the Brotherhood, about to sacrifice some more people. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I forget my hotkeys, man. I just find it funny that, like, the Brotherhood always fucking dies. Like, they really want you to believe, and it's like... Not like we're not even like at the end of the game type shit. Ooh, what's that? I don't know who he is, so I don't want to like kill people I don't need to kill. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a settler. Okay, we don't want to do that. That'd be rude. Here we go. Bam. I miss sniping things. This is always one of my favorite parts. Oh, nope, nope, tank bot. Nope, bad idea. Nope. Where's my... Ah, oh, fuck you, bitch. I don't know why I just pressed the F1 key. <laughs> oh, yay. Ghouls now, too. Great. This is great. Beat the rogue robots. I'd like to talk to the settler, though. Ugh. I don't know why. Those are the worst ghouls for me. You would think they'd be, like, the better ghouls to fight, just because you're like, oh, no, they're naked so that they feel less like people. But I don't know. They just, they gross me out more. Hey, buddy, what's up? Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. Wow, did the robots always do this? Uh, what the hell? We got more ghouls? Yeah, we got more ghouls. Huh, I honestly don't see that too often. I didn't mean to shoot for the legs, but I'm just being tactical, guys. Come on. <laughs> they made it look like he grabbed his dick. Ugh. Alright. expect help from a stranger. Thanks. You just showed up in the nick of time. Alright, I guess that kills it. So I guess he's another settler we could bring to one of our places, so... Whatever works, right? Huh, that's another weird place I've never... Oh, hey, wow. You showed up just in the nick of time. Look at that! I was just passing through. It was my lucky day, then. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. No, sorry. Yeah, same story everywhere. Well, thanks for your help. I don't know why, I just wanted to say no. <laughs> Holy shit, how many fucking people are here? Taking all this stuff. Hey, thanks for your help. Yeah, why are like ten of you in here? You're lucky I got here when I did. Don't I know it. You wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? Uh, I'm tired of always being on the run. I sure do. <laughs> wow, that mm, this is a little weird, no. I sure do. You can go to Jamaica Plains, I don't know why. Thanks. We'll see you there in a day or two. <laughs> I hope she's down here. Like, what the fuck? Please, can I follow you? Nope, sorry. You're out of the club. He likes me only. Can we trade a few things? Go ahead. B what the fuck? I'm sorry, I must be a little confused here. Why are... 
why is it trading it like we're campaign? I don't know. Like, does this send them all to the place? You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. I'd like to trade some items. Sure. That's weird. I mean, I've never had to deal with like. Uh, I've I've never had to personally deal with like a bunch of settlers at once before. Like, you rarely see settlers like this. At least at least from what I've seen when I play, I rarely ever see fucking settlers. So it's uh, honestly surprising that you see all these settlers together. Because usually if, if they're here, that usually means, like, there's a workshop here. God, I am so close to a fucking level up. Ugh. Again, I apologize if my voice being fucked up or something else or whatever happened and it made this session not as fun. I do overall apologize, but hey, you know what? I was really sick. <laughs> imagine, imagine being on the flu... being on the flu. Imagine having, like, uh, the flu, but for, like, three days straight. Like the worst parts of the flu for three days straight and then afterwards for some reason your lungs start fucking hurting though not a lot personally god i like that i wonder wonder what i wonder if i can do anything funny with that mechanist outfit i don't know if i'll all ever wear that just because that's not something i'm gonna add my gear to actually would it would i be able to upgrade that stuff i don't know if that's the case maybe i'll goof around one day and do one of those all right cool cool we are set with that and ada i want you away ada are you picking up a signal from any more No, robots? I do not want to do any more rogue robots. Like. Signal from no, I don't want Oh my god. Would you like me to run another scan? No. Never mind. Of course. Just let me know if your curiosity gets the better of you again. See, this is this is the stupid part of them like trying to oh, we'll do it only for four different options. So now they're like, "Oh, we got to start with this and then that means you can't kick her out of your team without nah, stupid shit." Hi, right. How are you? Well, if it just doesn't annoy me, well, I nah, actually I'll just go to bed. We'll sleep for now. When I wake up in the morning, I will talk to the person I want to, because I'd like to pad out this episode a little bit, and there's something I would like to get started on soon. Nope, oh, here we go. Nope, McCready, McCready, you need to meet McCready, you need to get out of bed. Out of bed, McCready. Bad boy. Alright. Look alive. What can I do for you? Here. No problem. You wait over there. You want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging? There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. You ready to head out? Damn right I am. Let's move. Just look like a couple of bros. All right, Ada, you can go to, I think it was the country crossing. No, what the hell was it? I it no, I think it was Abernathy Farm. Whatever. <laughs> if I forget, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Ada's gone, I don't care about her anymore. She's not like a thrilling DLC character or anything. Look alive. What do you want? <clears throat> Take this. You're gonna need it. See, I figured, like, he'd be one of those things where you talk to him, like, Oh, man, I love you so much right now for no fucking reason whatsoever. Huh? Yeah, sure they are. Alrighty then, well, uh, I was gonna pat out the episode with that, but now that I can't do that, uh, I guess this is gonna be a shorter session? I feel more comfortable with a rocky ceiling above my head. I get it. But we will have McCready on the team next time. But after that, I don't know what I want to do. Hmm. Let me take a quick second to look at my quests. Alrighty then, I'm looking at some of these quests. And honestly, I don't know if I want to do a settler quest or... Like, maybe maybe next time would be a good idea to do some settler quests just to get them out of the way and stuff. But afterwards, I'm thinking maybe doing Vault 88. That's a very interesting vault. It's... I, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to spoil anything. But it is kind of interesting. And you know what? I, I think it's fate. McCready said he feels better with the rock ceiling over his head, and trust me, it's a little bit more like that than you think. So I think we are going to end this here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Again, I do apologize that these videos haven't come out as quickly or as uh, much as the Fallout, or the, the Star Force 2 episodes did, which by the way, uh, was it today? Yeah, I think it was today. Yeah, today was the last day that uh, last episode came out in terms of uh, what I have available, episode 53. So, just so you know, I did not just go immediately focus on that when I had time. I decided to play Fallout 4 instead, just in case you guys are like, you guys do you you don't like Fallout 4, you hate it, that's why you haven't made anything. And it's like, no, I just, it's a little bit different for Fallout 4 than it is for something like that. Especially when I spent as much time as possible to get to the fucking end game for that, so I could at least be a little bit more <laughs> clear with the post game. But anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session, maybe, actually. It's one thing, actually, I could do, I forgot about this. Real quick, we'll just go to Good Neighbor if nothing happens, and at the very least, I can, um... I can get my hands on some fucking, uh... Buy some stuff here. 
All right, I thought something else was gonna happen here that just, I guess, didn't end up happening. Yeah, warehouse, okay, yep, okay. Uh, I don't know, maybe I will spend a day. I probably should explore Good Neighbor a bit more. But yeah, I thought something was gonna happen here that has not happened so far. Something weird was supposed to happen, and who knows, maybe a glitch prevented it from happening, but whatever. Okay, well, I kind of already gave my goodbye, so I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session. I will catch you guys next time when we will take on either Vault 88 or do some settlement stuff. I don't know. I just finished some DLC, so maybe a little bit of settlement stuff will be fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jin II, signing out. Take it easy, guys.